So I just got all caught up on the Apple special event today, and I have three words for you. Fuck you, Apple. I've seen enough of these Tim Cook-led events where nothing gets announced, where everything that is supposed to be revolutionary or new is in fact just something that's spun off from somebody else's creations in their own fucking app store or from another competitor where they've seen somebody do something that stands out and stolen the technology or stolen the ability to do so on their products. Fuck Apple. That's about the point that I'm at right now. And I want to show you a couple of things that, that highlight the insanity of how stupid this keynote was. First one is the fake fucking clapping. Enough with the fake clapping at these Apple events. I, I don't know if Google does this. I haven't followed close enough. But Apple fakes the applause. The fake applause is so insane to me. Now watch. Here's just a moment, okay? This is from the keynote, September 10th, 2009. Now, there is Tim Cook on stage, and he's about to talk about the iPad. You'll see that they go above, and you see everybody on their laptops. Almost everybody in the Steve Jobs Theater is on their laptops. You know why? Because they work for websites. Websites that cover this event, that get a bunch of page views, or used to. Used to when Steve Jobs ran these and we had one more time, one more thing. Oh, wait a second. Big product launches, not just a bunch of software horse shit. So he goes to talk about something and you see the audience get panned over by the camera and it's dark as hell. You know why it's dark? It's dark because they don't want you to see how no one is really clapping. And as they go over, you see all these uh, laptops. No one's clapping, but you hear the applause. Look. That's, That's Apple, Apple TV, TV Plus. Plus. Now, let's now let's turn, turn our, our attention to iPad. <laughs> when, when we created iPad, we said that was not real applause. <laughs> this, this was piped in applause, and they do this over and over and over during events like this. This is nuts to me. Uh, this is just a way to create a Tompkin village of an event where you, you say, look, everybody was applauding. Look how happy people were. It's fake. And I've heard from people and I've seen from people who have been at these Apple events. And they go, I remember a couple of times when things were duds, but they, they like DJ in applause. They're mixing in applause. And then sometimes they go back and forth between the real applause and the fake applause. That's so cheesy. Fuck you, Apple. Then they do stuff like this. This is just in case you missed the whole announcement. Let me show you, and I'll mute my mic so you can hear. So what just happened to that Apple event? Here we go. First, Tim Cook walks out and introduces the all-new... And here it is. Jason Momoa. What? This event was bonkers, so let's check it out. Spoiler alert iPhone just went pro. This thing is insane. Triple camera technology. Telephoto, wide, ultra wide, and the highest quality video on any smartphone ever. Plus a Super Retina XDR display and spatial audio. Spatial audio. A Monster A13 chip and battery life up to five hours longer. That's pro. Then Tim's like, and there's another iPhone, the dual camera iPhone 11. Cat gets all frisky. You're good. Throw it in your purse. You're good. Spill coffee on it. No! No, you're good. It also takes fab photos in the dark, takes slow-mo selfies or slow fees. Enough. You, you get it. You understand what's going on here. This goes on and on. That's cheesy as shit, too. They announced a, a couple of things. Mostly software on the iPad. Who cares? Everything they do is software. I happen to be a big fan and supporter of of the Apple TV, that's going software only. They're going away from any kind of hardware device. And I'm not just burnt up by that. I'm burnt up by the insanity and the, the lack of precision in the design. Okay, here it is. Here is uh, the iPhone 11, all right? We, as if we just had one a year ago. We had a new iPhone. Here's the iPhone 11. And I want to stop in just a second here because I want you to see what this uh, camera setup looks like on this phone. Uh, let me find the best time here to focus in on right there. Okay. So right here you can see iPhone 11. This is preposterous. We've got two massive lenses here. And we've got a smaller lens and some other sort of sensor that they're using. That's only on one side of the phone. There's cameras on the other side too. 
And some of this is so that you can get this new ultra wide shot, which is beautiful and your cameras are beautiful, but why not make the whole fucking thing a camera? Why not at this point just make the whole thing a camera? And this is the iPhone 11. It's okay. We didn't need it. There's nothing really crazy going on except for the ultra wide shot. And this whole front of the phone camera shit, it's horse shit. It's ugly. Now buckle yourself because we're going to get really ridiculous. That's not enough to have the iPhone 11. How about the iPhone 11 Pro? Uh, here we go. Introducing. Let's stop there. How about that? Let's put another fucking camera in here. Look at this. It's some sort of weird uh, alien from another world with three fucking four or five eyeballs. Shit is hideous. Find a way to hide that in the design better. It's like, is this, is this what we're showing off? People are going to put cases over this anyway. Because as strong as you say your phone is, it's absolute... Uh, garbage when you drop it. And it doesn't matter if it can go uh, 100,000 meters under the sea. When you drop it in a bar bathroom and it hits the tile, it breaks every time. And so we're going to be getting new one, uh, new phones and paying thousands of dollars, or we're just going to be putting a case on it, covering it. And then what is this? What is this? That is hideous. And this phone, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. Now we're doing iPhones Pro. Not just you know, iPad Pro or, you know, any other device that's at a pro level. The assumption here is that you're going to film a fucking cinematic feature on this thing. An iPhone Pro. And you're going to pay thousands of dollars to do it. Maybe you are. Maybe you are. I th these announcements are just gone. To, they're gone to shit. This was my favorite moment. I wanted to at least share something positive with you. When this little gentleman came out and uh, decided to tell us about just how fast the phone is, and then went way into the weeds. Here's what's going on with the crypto cores and the firing cylinders and the low power battery, fuck by a whatever. When they did that, this little guy comes out and his voice cracked. And I enjoyed that. I actually did enjoy that. So let's hear that. At the design level, we apply many, many low power design techniques to increase the efficiency of our design. For example, we have hundreds of voltage domains on the chip. So we light up only the sections of the chip that need to function at any given time. But that's not all. We have hundreds of thousands of clock gating domains. So we only clock turn it. on the smallest amount of logic in the chip, dramatically reducing power. The result is our highest performing, mo highest performing most Ooh. efficient. Ooh. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the entire thing. That I liked. There was nothing groundbreaking or exciting or futuristic or thought-provoking or industry-leading or impressive about anything at this Apple event. I'm about to say it's time to explore other realms. I'm about to check out some of these Samsung phones that they shit all over. Even though Apple, 10 years ago, Apple had 15% of the market share for cell phones. Apple, now still has 15% share of the market phones. There's billions and billions of new phones on and they can't increase their market share anymore. More phones, but not more market share. And it's because nothing truly exciting, truly groundbreaking has been going on. This is impressive in some ways, technologically, what you pulled off here. But I don't need to upgrade from this because of it. I don't. I don't need to. And I don't need, I already have enough here on my phone. Now that fucking iPhone 11 Pro, 700 cameras on the thing. Flash forward to iPhone 55, 60 billion cameras on the phone. You can fart and record a movie. That's what we're looking at. I just, I thought this was lame. And Apple generally has delivered uh, in occasions like this. And I don't know if this is the beginning of the end for me and Apple. If because uh, with the loss of Steve Jobs, with the removal of Johnny Ives, uh, at least from the day-to-day -day operations, this is what we're looking at now, maybe that's the case. And maybe I'm just not that into it. I, I'm not sure. Maybe you liked it. Let me know in the comments. What'd you think of the Apple announcement today? Is it boring? Are they always behind Samsung on products? Are they, are they tilting at windmills here? 
Are they a swing and a miss on a bunch of the different products that they've pushed forward or software that they push forward? Is this camera set up on the front of the iPhone 11 ridiculous and the iPhone 11 Pro even more ridiculous? What do you think and do you think Apple's best days are over? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.